Now that's what I call professional presentation of pipsqueaks and puppy dogs. These are going to be flying off the... <gasps> A bad apple in the bunch! That just won't do! Out with you, you dismal darling! Show! Whew, that was a little too close for my liking. Now, where was I? That's right, commending myself on a display well shelved. Oh, howdy, you stupendous stalker, you. If you weren't me, I'd kiss ya. <laughs> Once upon a bedtime dreary, as I felt weak and weary, before I partook in my quaint and racks and snore, it was after my bedtime stalking that there suddenly came a knockin', as if some fellow was gently clocking, clocking my front door. A fellow who can't read the sign, I muttered, knocking at my front door. A customer, and nothing more. I put on my cashier's smile, answering in a friendly style. Pal, I said, or buddy, truly, your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was ready for napping, and so gently you came rapping. Some would even call it tapping, tapping at my front door. That I scarce was sure I heard you. Then here I opened wide my door. A raven was there. Never more. Sorry, little guy, we're closed for the day. Rats. I mean, ravens. Back into the store I was turning. For some sleep my soul was yearning. Soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. This time I opened, I flung the door. There appeared a darling different than before. A devious little plush within my humble store perched himself on a crate of candy apples here in my very own store. Sitting and staring and nothing more. This nefarious and precious toy turned my smile into a frown. Those eyes shook me to my core while I was in my nice bedtime gown. Though grin be chipper and merry, thou art sure looking a smidgen scary. Ghastly grim and eerie devil, wandering from outside home for sure, tell me what thy homely name is doing in my store. Quoth the marketable creature, I'm the happy, haunting, Wally Darling plush toy, and I'm from the makeshift store. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken, Doubtless, said I, the happy, haunting, Wally Darling plush isn't in my stock and store. If I give you a price, it'd be $29.99. A good sale I know I can never decline. But Makeship must have thought you a terrifying disaster. Chucked you fast and even faster till you flew out their front door. Then you wound up here late at night in a fantastic store. But I shan't sell you never more. So profit, said I. Thing of evil profit, though. Even if plush or devil. By that heaven that bends above us, by that home we both adore, be these words our sign of parting, devil or product? I shrieked, upstarting. Get thee back into the abyss of makeshift's online store. Leave no felt as a token of that lie thy soul has spoken. Leave my wares and goods unbroken. Leave the space in front of my door. Pick up your little accessories and take thy form off, off my floor. Quoth the happy haunting Wally Darling makeshift. Plush toy. I'm the happy, haunting, Wally Darling plush toy, and I'm from the makeshift store. And the happy, haunting, Wally Darling plush toy, never leaving, still is sitting, still is sitting, now on the freshly mopped tiles along my front door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. Won't someone purchase him for $29.99 so he's away from my beautiful store? I feel my soul telling me to amscray to my bed in the back of the store. I'm getting out of here. Call me when he's gone forevermore. <laughs> I'm the happy, haunting, Wally Darling plush toy, and I'm from the makeshift store. Get a load of that guy. <laughs>